Hello Illumina community and welcome to the HiSeq Expert Video Tips series. In this series of videos, we will discuss usage tips, troubleshooting advice, and the best practices for utilizing your HiSeq instrument. In creating this resource, we polled numerous Illumina field application scientists and field service engineers for their advice and tips on running the HiSeq. The information collected and highlighted in these videos represents the sum of many years' experience of HiSeq support gained at customer sites ranging from large genome centers to small research labs. Keep in mind that this video series is not a replacement for your standard HiSeq resources, such as instrument user guides, reagent kit reference guides, online training tutorials, or instructor-led training from your local support staff. Our goal is to help demonstrate common tasks that will enable you to keep running your instrument at its highest capacity. Let's get started. One of the first details about your HiSeq run setup is decided long before we get here. Indexing occurs during library preparation, and two versions of Illumina indexes are commonly used, TrueSeq and Xterra. The important difference here is that each of the two versions utilize different index primer site sequences, so the correct primer needs to be loaded into the HiSeq for sequencing. All cluster generation kits from HiSeq version 4 and Rapid Run version 2 and later have the compatible versions of sequencing primers for all standard Illumina library preps included in the kit. No additional reagents are necessary. For earlier cluster generation kit versions, such as TrueSeq v3, only indexing primers compatible with low throughput LT TrueSeq kits are included in the cluster generation kits, both for single read and paired end varieties. However, TrueSeq high throughput or HT library preparations run on a single read flow cell or all Nextera libraries, single read or paired end, require different index primers, which are ordered separately. These primers are available in the TrueSeq dual indexing sequencing primer box, available in single read and paired end varieties. The single read and paired end kits do have different primer sets, so be sure to order the appropriate kit for your run. The TrueSeq dual index sequencing primer box is available at this link. When in doubt, a helpful tool called the Custom Protocol Selector is available on the Illumina website. With this tool, you can enter information such as the instrument you're using, the type of run, and the type of library prep protocol you're using. The tool generates a protocol specific to your sequencing run. The protocol also highlights the required indexes. Up next in the HiSeq video tip series, we'll go to Chad for more tips and troubleshooting advice for the HiSeq computer. We'll see you in part two.